Can you charge a Google Pixel with a Samsung 25W charger? These days, most phones don't come with a charger in the box. So many people wonder if they can use chargers from other brands like Oppo, Realme, Vivo, Motorola and more. In this video, we will find out. I have already reviewed the Pixel 7a and tested its charging with an 18W power bank. In this video, I'm comparing how long it takes to charge the Pixel 7a from 0% to 100% using the power bank and the Samsung 25W charger, showing you how much it charges every 10 minutes. I kept this video as short as possible because we want to see if there are any differences in charging this mobile with different chargers. We have now crossed the 10 minutes mark. The Samsung charger charges the battery 12% while the power bank charges 13%. Let's keep going and check after another 10 minutes. Also you can observe here that I switched on the mobile while charging with a Samsung charger. We can see if there are any major time differences if we turn on the mobile and charge it. We have now crossed the 20 minutes mark. The Samsung charger charges the battery 21% while the power bank charges 23%. Let's keep going and check after 10 minutes. The Pixel 7a is equipped with a 4385mAh battery. While this is a decent size, it doesn't last more than a day under heavy usage. Another issue is the limited charging speed. The phone supports only 18 watts of wired charging, which is not great in the present year. We have now crossed the 30 minutes mark. The Samsung charger charges the battery 31% while the power bank charges 33%. Let's keep going and check after another 10 minutes. You can observe that there is a 2% charge difference. If we charge the mobile by turning it on, there is a loss of power due to the background running apps, network, brightness and more. But is it slightly negligible or not? I don't know. We will see the overall differences in time after this test ends. We know more about it. We have now crossed the 40 minutes mark in the power bank and 45 minutes in the Samsung charger. The Samsung charger charges the battery 45% while the power bank charges 43%. Let's keep going and check after another 10 minutes. If you observe here, there is a slight shift in charging speed. This is due to various reasons like the battery temperature, mobile temperature, etc. We have now crossed the 50 minutes mark. The Samsung charger charges the battery 50% while the power bank charges 52%. Let's keep going and check after another 10 minutes. From now onwards, I only update after every 10 minutes how much it charged. After 60 minutes, the Samsung charger charges the battery 60% while the power bank charges also 60%. After 1 hour and 10 minutes, the Samsung charger charges the battery 69% while the power bank charges also 69%. After 1 hour 20 minutes, the Samsung charger charges the battery 78% while the power bank charges also 78%. Up to now, both are charging at the same speeds. After 1 hour and 30 minutes, the Samsung charger charges the battery 87% while the power bank charges 86%. After 1 hour and 40 minutes, the Samsung charger charges the battery 93% while the power bank charges also 93%. After reaching 85%, almost all mobiles charges slowly. After 1 hour and 50 minutes, the Samsung charger charges the battery 96% while the power bank charges 97%. After 2 hours, the Samsung charger charges the battery 100% while the power bank charges 99%. Almost completed here. Later after 2 minutes, the power bank also charged 100%. So here are the charging percentage differences for every 10 minutes. Almost similar timings no matter how fast the charger you are using. From this test, we can observe is no matter what type of charger you are using, make sure it supports the same watts that mobile is supported. And also, I didn't see very huge differences in between the timings with and without turning on the mobile during this charging test. You can find all the Google Pixel 7a videos in the description box and also in the comment box. 
I want to know one thing from your side whether you are using the mobile branded default charger or any third party charger for your mobile. I'm waiting to see how many of you guys are using third party chargers.